Ah, good morning to you all. Welcome back to another video, another vlog, another day in the life of a food service delivery driver with Performance Foods. So today is Thursday, um, 3.55 in the morning. I thought, you know, I get here a little bit early, you know, leave out a little bit earlier. That way maybe I can get done and get back home tomorrow a little bit earlier. So get my route info, come up to my truck, and uh, you see that red light? Yeah. They're not done loading it yet. They're still loading the truck. That's what I get for showing up early, is uh, I have to wait. So that's that's nice. I, uh, I've, I've heard about this being you know, an issue sometimes, but I really didn't think that it was gonna happen already, but here we are. So I guess kind of the moral of the story is um, don't get here too early for your route. I mean, uh, I don't know when this route typically leaves out. I think somebody told me that the normal person that used to do this route left out at like five or six in the morning. But um, you know, I figured since the first stop was about two hours away, you know, if I got there and started out a little bit earlier, um, you know, we could get there right when somebody gets there and we can kind of get our day started earlier. But that, uh, that didn't work out in our favor. All right, we've got our truck loaded. We are, uh, I definitely could have slept in a little bit. Had I known, I would have just slept in just a little bit. We are logged in, pre-trip done, all that good stuff done. We are ready to rock and roll. We've got a newer Cascadia today, so it's gonna make the trip much more enjoyable. We've got an hour and 46 minute drive to our first stop so yeah we're starting out starting out with a little bit of a drive but that's okay gives us time to kind of wake up as if i haven't had enough time already we got a lot of a lot of trucks pulling in we've got 21 stops today uh, I guess today and tomorrow, I'm going to try to knock out the majority of them today. Hopefully, uh, a lot of them really aren't that big. So we should be uh, should be able to hopefully knock them out. Hit the road, head up there, and uh, it'll be daylight here in a couple hours. So we will update you guys when we can. So, little update. Um, I'm about two hours behind where I wanted to be. So... I left, everything was all good. Everything I checked on my pre-trip today, I wanted to make sure I was as thorough as possible uh, because I did not want what happened last time to happen to where the uh, the trailer brake cable, the last video you guys, you guys saw the airline busted. And uh, you know, I don't know if a pre-trip would have really caught that because I had to slide my tandems anyway. And uh, it just happened that way. But uh, like I said, got a good truck, you know, newer truck, Less than 100,000 miles, so nothing wrong with the truck. Uh, the trailer was fine. The reefer was running. Everything was fine when we left. But, um, you know, got probably 35 minutes down the road, and the reefer, I noticed that the reefer light, if you see in the mirror, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's orange. Well, it's not supposed to be orange. It's supposed to be green. Green means everything's all good. But it was completely off. Like it wasn't on at all. So I knew, you know, something's up. So I pulled over on a, you know, an exit ramp, got out, checked everything out. Well, the reefer was not uh, firing. It was not starting up. And it just happened to be after I went through a little bit of a rain. So a little bit of rain, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe that probably uh, messed with the connection or something happened. So, you know, I I'm not sure what to do. So I called, they said, take it to Penske which was 35 minutes away again, going backwards. And uh, so I did that, took it to Penske. He greased the connections. He said, everything looks good. There might've been some moisture that got in there and you know, just caused it to not want to get a good connection. So the grease should help. Well, it has until just about 10 minutes ago when that light turned orange again. So I don't exactly know how the rest of this is gonna pan out today. Ah, oh, good morning, guys. It is Friday. And I kind of left y'all hanging yesterday, basically because I got 
a little bit frustrated throughout the day. It was just going kind of, uh, it kind of all over the place. After we had the reefer unit problem, um, now we got that sort of sorted out. It's still giving us a little bit of issues here and there. Um, you know, I spent the rest of the day kind of really busting out stops. Really just getting through, getting as far as I could. And I uh, got to the point where I obviously had to stop because I was running out of drive time. So, um, I had to stop, had to get to the hotel, had to take my 10 hour break. And here we are. Uh, my 10 hour break was actually over at four, four or five in the morning. But the thing is I couldn't leave and I can't get to my next stop until uh, so at the Smoothie King, they got there at 6.30 to 7 o'clock. So, you know, I decided that I was gonna get up, get early, you know, get earlier start, but that wouldn't make sense because um, the next stop after that didn't get there until nine. So I did not want to waste my drive time. I wanted to make his. All right, so my battery died. So I guess I will finish explaining here. Um, so anyway, the other places did not open. They're not gonna be open until nine o'clock. I've got two NENs that's in the Galleria Mall here in St. Louis. They don't open, they don't get there till nine. The mall opens at 11, but they don't get there till nine. Um, so it wouldn't make sense for me to have went to Smoothie King, did that delivery, and then still had to wait 45 minutes to an hour to get the Annie Ann's and get the next stop off. Um, so after those two, there's a pizza place. They don't open till nine. Um, everybody really pretty much gets there at nine o'clock. <laughs> so I wanted to be able to maximize my drive time today. So I got up a little bit later. Uh, I'm gonna get started a little bit later uh, here in actually a couple minutes. I will be ready to roll and um, you know, get started with my day. I've got eight stops to bust out today, then I've got to get home uh, from St. Louis, which is about a three and a half hour drive. So definitely got to get that done. Here is the one that I always do not look forward to coming to um, on this route, just because of this. Um, and it's, you got to walk through the entire mall to get to it. But this, this is like the sketchiest thing because when I first came here, I'm like, man, well, there's no way we could fit. The sign says that it's like 13, it's like 13.4 or 13.5 is the the max height and yeah we're like I'm like there's no way but I, we saw another truck come in with a puff trailer and come out asked him and he's like yeah you can fit it's just gonna be pretty tight but uh, yeah he definitely wasn't lying it's uh, definitely tight so uh, what I need to do is I'm gonna have to pull forward and actually back into that dock where those van that van is um, and there's a box truck over there too so I might have to use the orange dock over there yeah there's two vans two vans and the box truck so I'm not gonna be able to fit there uh, it's kind of the same situation as what happened last time I had to pack into these docks here which is kind of kind of a pain um, especially because I think I think this truck is in the dock that I used last time. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this, to be honest. The real trick is you can't see the other side. So I don't know where I'm at, really. Watch everything. Stay close to that curb. Obviously, don't want to rub the pole. And now we're going to try to straighten it back out. Put it, we put a little bit too much. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze into this dock. I might have to go for, go for this next one, actually. That's okay.
golf cart back there and I cannot see. Yeah, they did not make this easy today. All right, so I chose to uh, just wait it out and let the, let the box truck leave instead of backing into that orange dock, I backed into the green dock. Uh, finished the deliveries, it took me two hours. Just, it's, it's big deliveries, you know, big deliveries and a lot of walking. One restaurant's on the one end, one's on the other end. Upstairs, so it takes, it takes some time. And of course, you gotta have all these trucks and vans lined up, parked over here when they're not supposed to be. Like it literally, literally says deliveries only. fun one I can only watch one thing I either watch the hood mirror or I watch the trailer most of the time I watch the hood mirror get that hood mirror as close as you can to that wall and the trailer should not scrape Looks like we're super close, but we're not scraping. So that's the fun part about getting out of the mall. So I guess I didn't record anything after we left the mall. Um, it's actually been a few days, actually a week since uh, since that trip. That was my last time probably going up to St. Louis because I've got a new bid route that I'm going to be starting. You'll be seeing that in the next video. Super excited for that because I think it's going to be uh, you know, it's going to be pretty nice to have a set route and yeah, this is just kind of showing you some of the tricky uh, situations you can get yourself, uh, you know, caught in when you're doing food service. I mean, you'll definitely get your experience backing, maneuvering, uh, stuff like that. I mean, I'm just two months in and I feel like I've learned more and learned how to maneuver more than most, uh, you know, most people that are training over the road learn, you know, in the first like what is it 60,000 miles or whatever but uh, anyway guys thank you so much for watching feel free to get down there click that subscribe button for me let's help this channel grow plenty more videos along the way like I said the next video you will see my new bid route and uh, you know it's actually gonna be a pretty decent video uh, so yeah thank you guys so much for commenting subscribing you know liking the videos all that helps out the channel tremendously and I cannot wait to keep growing the channel with you guys and keep sharing the experience here at performance foods performance foods is hiring drivers uh, we do hire fresh CDL holders. That's how I got this job. Uh, fresh out of CDL school back in February, started in March with Performance Foods. It's my very first job driving a semi truck and uh, getting a lot of experience. And uh, it is hard work. So if you're looking for something that's you know consistent, hard work, uh, pays pretty well, definitely hop on to Performance Foods. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you all in the next one.